Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn Is with Mahesh. First of all, wish you all a very happy new year 2022. In this video, we'll see how you can make Google Cloud Platform as part of your professional career in 2022 and how to be healthy. So we know uh, staying healthy is very, very important, which we have learned over a couple of years. So let's get into this video. The first part is if you want to make GCP a Google Cloud Platform as a part of your career, you need to decide depending on what background you come from, which GCP certification to take. So certification is going to act as a uh, door opener for you if you want to get into any new roles in your uh, career in 2022. So you have to decide basically which GCP certification you have to take. So if you look into the official uh, page of Google Cloud Platform, you will see various certifications based on that you will come to know which certification to take and I have also created a video let me just share that so uh, in June uh, 2020 I had created a video which GCP certification to take and there were a few certifications which I had discussed so depending on your background you can take which certification you want and uh, the, the video is not up to date because uh, after 2020 there are a few more uh, certifications which were added so you can look into the official documentation to get an idea and also a small suggestion is you can look into the comments in the in this video where people have asked based on their uh, background which certification is good so based on their background i have also suggested which one is going to be good so this is the first part which you need to do which certification to take once you have decided which gcp certification to take the next part is which course to take uh, basically should you take uh, an official course from Google Cloud Platform uh, where it is going to be either from an instructor led or virtual training with the help of Quick Labs. This is one option. So this is official so you can best definitely take this. The second option which you can take is basically a uh, course from a source which you trust the most. Say for example I have seen people uh, rely on some specific sources. Uh, I don't want to take any names here. So but uh, in the past, they could have taken some courses on Java, on um, any programming languages or any technology, booming technology and uh, from a, a trusted uh, source. So if you have a GCP course in that uh, source, you can basically take that. That's another option. So because you, you have already relied on that source in your past experience, you can take that one. That's one option. The third option basically is I also offer a customized professional cloud architect training which I have basically shared many times and also I am starting my batch 8. Uh, tentatively it is going to start from 8th of uh, January 2022. So the details I have shown on the screen. If you are interested you can drop me a direct mail on learngcpwithmahesh at the rate gmail.com. So those are the three options which I mentioned. There is a uh, special option which you get as a th fourth option. What is that fourth option? which I consider as the best, self-learning. Uh, nothing can beat the self-learning part. Uh, all my experience which I have gained is basically by doing self-learning because uh, self-learning gives you different ways of doing it. It's like little unstructured, but the way you are going to do the learning, unless you understand it, you are not going to leave it. So that's a very good option, I would say, the self-learning. But one of the challenge with uh, self-learning which I have seen is you open up a document, documentation and you start looking into doing a small demonstration and that can take little longer time so you get slightly deviated for example if you are creating a virtual machine um, and it's going to take a few minutes or sometimes our kubernetes cluster to be very specific it takes a few minutes you get little diverted so you start looking into your phone uh, the messages and slightly get diverted i basically get diverted like that so what i thought is why don't i take an approach i need to be staying healthy and also need to learn GCP um, and um, how do I do blend both of them so is what I thought so let me share how I basically do uh, a self learning and some specific stuff so let's get into the action the option which I wanted to show is we have created resources but when some resources takes a little longer time we slightly get diverted for example if it's a Kubernetes cluster right usually it takes around three minutes to five minutes so in that time period we'll start looking into uh, a phone or some social media we slightly get diverted while we are studying it so instead of doing that what i thought is we'll do something like in that time period we'll do some kind of an exercise a relaxation or a yoga so for example 
this is a normal command which we use basically to create a bucket a google cloud storage bucket i would say google cloud storage bucket is one of the favorite product for most of the people because it's little easy to provision so the slight difference which i'm going to do is i'm going to put this utility called as time in front of it the moment i put this i it's going to give me a, a wall clock time so as if like if you start a timer and you start when i hit enter and when you stop when i when the resource is created that is a time so that kind of a functionality you can get it with time option so usually a uh, storage bucket gets created uh, so in very few seconds so even in that time period in stuff uh, staring at the screen uh, straining our eyes what i thought is we'll basically drink a glass of water so hit enter so 2 seconds but i drank a glass of water hydrated myself so that i will be more energetic that's a first option so next thing is is basically i want to create a a google cloud storage not a bucket sorry a, a virtual machine so let's create a virtual machine instances happy new year 2022 uh in a zone which is basically any zone of your choice i'm going to use singapore a zone same thing time so we are going to put time in front of it and see how long it is going to take now usually this takes around 15 seconds now you can ask what you can do in 15 seconds basically take a long breath relax yourself so before doing any exercise you should your mind and body should be in a very calm state right that is what we are going to do it so hit enter take a long breath and inhale and exhale so 15 seconds it took uh, roughly around 4 to 5 times i was able to take a deep breath and inhale and exhale so which was really good so more oxygen to the brain so it's going to work very well awesome so we created a bucket we created a basically a virtual machine what next let's try to create basically a kubernetes cluster followed by a cloud sql instance now kubernetes cluster basically so if i do clouds uh, g cloud containers cluster create happy new year 2022 in a zone i'm going to create a zonal kubernetes cluster so i can i can put it in singapore again time i'm going to put in front of it so that it's going to calculate the time uh, based on my previous experience i see that it is going to take around 3 to 4 minutes now in this time period what we will do is basically because we are going to do some exercise so we should make sure our body is little stray like uh, warmed up so hit enter so basically we will do some kind of a warm up so that our body is in a in a state where we can do some little extra stuffs like maybe jogging or some kind of uh, lifting the dumbbells or anything of that sort whatever you like basically so this is going to take around 3 minutes is my rough understanding so let's wait for that and i don't want to pause the video basically so that uh, you know how long it takes and i'm going to really do something for the 3 minutes so uh, stretch my body so that it's in a state where i can take the next exercise which i'm going to do is basically take some uh, dumbbells do some say for example repeat it for two or three times so that's going to be the one so and one important thing which you see is whenever you do basically uh, things in the console or uh, sorry in the cloud shell or in the command line it's going to be more verbose folks that's what i have seen basically uh, let's wait So it took around 
four minutes for the Kubernetes cluster to be created. Awesome. And I basically little warmed up myself. My, my body is in a state where I can do a little more uh, dumbbells or more, a more little, uh, what I would say, a little uh, better exercises. So it's in a stage where I can handle something better. So what I will do is I'll clear the screen and I will try to create a Cloud SQL instance. The same trick, I'm going to put uh, time in front of it and we'll see how long it's going to take. And this time, the one which I'm going to do is a uh, dumbbells. So let's try to do that. So hit enter. So one, two, three, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you can do this kind of a repeated stuff depending on how long you want to do this so but it's going to take definitely three minutes so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So still I have plenty of time. That's the beauty. That's the beauty. So I'm going to pause the video. Once it is finished, I'm going to show you the steps. Awesome. So the Cloud SQL instance took roughly around uh, 3.4 minutes roughly. So was able to do some good amount of exercise for uh, basically um, Four minutes now what else now warmed up and we did some little more exercise now little more stretching is going to be a better one uh, so uh, again I'm not a, a fitness Greek but what I usually do in this kind of stuff is what I wanted to share now I wanted to have this four minutes and the beauty of GCP is most of the resources gets created uh, like from two seconds to roughly around um, four to five minutes that's what I have seen but there are a couple of resources which takes a little longer time because the reason is I'm not trying to bring down something in GCP uh, like uh, the value I'm basically like product wise every product gets created very fast one of the credit for that is basically the network so there are a few resources which takes a little longer time for example creating an SSL certificate a Google manage SSL certificate it's going to take a little longer time around like 10 minutes roughly um, and if you want something more, uh, uh, a resource which takes a little longer time, uh, the one which you can try is basically Composer. Uh, a nice product, a managed airflow uh, option, which usually takes around 20 minutes. Uh, that's what I have seen. But today I'm not going to create Composer, but rather than that, I'm going to use Data Fusion. So uh, the beauty of Data Fusion is this is going to be really helpful for cloud architects. Say, for example, if you wanted to do a proof of concept, and that proof of concept is going to involve some kind of some data engineering work where you want to show some ETL uh, data integration kind of a stuff and you don't know how to write a code you can use data fusion it is a graphically uh, driven interface uh, user interface where you can drag and drop stuff something like the source is a Google Cloud storage bucket I do some wrangling after the wrangling is done I want to dump it into BigQuery I can do this kind of a stuff on a canvas folks that's the beauty of data fusion I would say this is like a boon for uh, or a blessing uh, in disguise for uh, cloud architects because a data engineer can do this kind of a work very easily using a data flow you can write it quickly using python but if cloud architects and they don't come from a programming background this could be a really helpful to do some quick proof of concepts and that's what i'm going to do here and why i choose this one basically is uh, so happy i just tell you why I choose this. Happy New Year 2022. So I was very advanced one 2023. So create something in, say for example, I put it in Singapore. So I choose the option. So I'm going to leave everything as default. 
uh, grant the permissions. So this part folks, you don't see this kind of information anywhere in the console where Google they themselves are mentioning it's going to take roughly around 20 minutes. This is going to take around 14 to 15 minutes I have seen but uh, as per the console it is around 20 minutes. So let's click on create and 20 minutes you have folks. You can definitely do some good amount of exercise. So I have clicked on create so we know it's going to take around 20 minutes. So one option which I usually do is I just go out and do a cycling and come back. Uh, now we cannot show a cycling thing which I can do. So what I thought is I'm going to do a in place jogging. I'm not, I'm not sure whether this is the right term to use but basically start jogging in the place where you are there. So this could basically increase the heart rate. Again I'm not a great fitness Greek but things which I do regularly this is what I would do usually. So start jogging. So you can jog faster if you want. Um, it's, it's up to you how you want. Cycling is another thing but if you're living in a place where it is jam packed traffic just going out and coming back itself is a challenge so you can stand something do something in the home itself so this is the option so all right for 20 minutes if you have jogged or if you have done cycling that's good so come back take a little relaxation uh, so how do i relax basically so right from top to bottom so right from your eyes till your uh, legs you can take a relaxation while cool down basically uh, so how do i do that cool down so the resources which you created start deleting so uh, so virtual machines we created it so let me just delete it so by the time it gets deleted i'm going to close my eyes and relax it because eye is one of the important organ in the entire human body so without that i guess uh, the video you cannot even see that that's an important stuff so let me delete this and it's going to prompt for other things so yes i want to delete this relax my eyes so it's going to take roughly around uh, 20 to 30 seconds is my understanding so by the time it comes up closing my eyes no light falling on my eyes so it's going to definitely get a good amount of relaxation and this is something which even uh, what doctors suggest so you can take 20, 20, 20 kind of uh, pattern, 20 minutes work, take a little break uh, to your eyes and once it is uh, done, like once you feel relaxed, open up and do it. So around 20 seconds was the time it took for the resource to be get deleted and now you can start doing the same stuff, deleting the cloud SQL instance, all those things where you basically cool down yourself, that's it. Alright, that's the thing which I wanted to share basically. I have created a small cheat sheet which I can do a mapping basically what I did as a summary page. So storage bucket, drink water because it's going to take a little time, like very less time, 2 seconds. Compute engine is going to take around 20 to 15 to 20 seconds. You can basically breathe in, breathe out. Kubernetes cluster basically takes around 3 to 4 minutes, roughly sometimes 5 minutes. Warm up yourself. Uh, Cloud SQL instance again is going to take little uh, time. So little extra exercise like Surya Namaskar, uh, Dumbles, whatever you like basically go for it. Data fusion 100% basically it's going to take around 15 to 20 minutes so it's also mentioned in the console itself. So go for a cycling, jogging or whatever the one which you feel uh, for 20 minutes which you can do and lastly relaxation basically you cool down relax yourself uh, by deleting the resources. So that's the video basically which I wanted to share today. So Make sure uh, in the 2022 um, you try to make uh, your professional career having Google Cloud Platform there. So I have shared some of the thoughts and also stay healthy. So that's the video which I wanted to share today. Bye. Thank you.